In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to cook jackfruit properly. Me for one, and my crew. Does that make sense? I for one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. Okay, I for one, bro. Let's okay. Go. Right, three, two, one. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to cook jackfruit properly. Me and my crew, us, my crew and I. <laughs> Come on. No, that's right. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to cook jackfruit properly. My crew and I are sick of going out to places and having pulled jackfruit in a barbecue sauce in a wrap or a burger. It's just a bit meh. We just want some more variety. So hopefully people will watch this video, they'll see how to prepare it properly and make some really nice recipes. So I'm gonna be making an incredible shepherd's pie and also this lovely Chinese style curry. So this curry recipe is one of my favorites from my new book, Plants Only Kitchen, which you can get by clicking the link below this video. So for the base of the curry, I'm gonna chop up an onion, some garlic, chili, carrot, and pepper. Hello? Yeah. Who's this? Oh, I can't get it, you've got cameras in your hands. Don't touch that knife. <laughs> Welcome back. You better not have. Sharp. Ready? So now you want to get a large saucepan or a wok, place over a medium heat, add a touch of oil and get that base sauteing off. So after a couple minutes of sauteing, add some curry powder and some Chinese five pipe. So after a couple minutes of cooking, add some Chinese five spice and some curry powder, plus a little bit of salt and pepper. So these onions are now cooking, they're releasing all their sweetness, and I've purposely left the pieces quite big. I haven't chopped it finely, just because I want a nice, want different textures running through this curry. And the spices are roasting, and five spice is one of my favorite spice mixtures. The star anise, the aniseed flavor is just beautiful. So I'm gonna show you now how to prepare the jackfruit from a can properly. First up, I'm using young green jackfruit in brine, and you can get it in cans like this from all good supermarkets nowadays, from vegan supermarkets, from vegan shops, etc. You just wanna drain off these cans, and then I'll put the jackfruit into a clean kitchen towel and squeeze and wring out as much of that water as possible. And that's the key tip in making jackfruit meaty. So all of this water is being left in the jackfruit that you're ordering when you go out to eat and you get really bad jackfruit. This is what needs to come out. So let's open this up now and I'll show you how the jackfruit is transformed. And did you know that jackfruit, the tree, bears the heaviest fruit, up to 55 kilograms, these fresh jackfruit grow to. So you can get fresh jackfruit, but you're gonna need a wheelbarrow because they're so heavy. It's also the national fruit of Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, and it's grown in many tropical countries, basically. And the texture's now completely changed because I've squeezed all that water. It's gonna be more meaty now. It's gonna have a bite to it, and it's gonna work so well in this curry. So I'm gonna get it into the pan now with some mushrooms as well. And I'm using a mixture of Asian mushrooms, mainly shiitakes and oyster mushrooms. Woohoo! Now we're cooking, this is beautiful. So I just wanna get some color on the mushrooms just so they add that richness. There's quite few ingredients in this curry, so each element needs to be cooked to perfection. And letting the mushrooms cook down, letting the jackfruit cook down, letting the onions cook down is a great way to add really good flavor to the end result of this curry. Guys, I forgot to add the ginger, but it's okay. It's, I'm happy I remembered, but ideally you'd add this when you're cooking the onions. Three, 
So now I'm going to deglaze the pan with some vegetable stock, some coconut milk, miso and lemongrass. Okay, so I'm going to pop a lid on this or a makeshift lid because I've got a lid big enough for this wok and I'm going to let it bubble away for about 25 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, I will prepare my noodles, which I'm serving it with, and a couple of toppings. Not big enough. <laughs> it's too big. It's too big now. That'll do. Okay, so the curry's been cooking for 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna take my massive paella lid off the top, see how it is, and if it's ready, we'll serve it up. It's ready. Look at that. Beautiful, look at that jackfruit. Nice, meaty, tender piece of jackfruit there. So I'm gonna serve this up in my little bowls. All right, so let's give it a taste. I'm gonna go straight for this massive, chunky bit of jackfruit on the top here. Mmm. That jackfruit has absorbed all of those flavors from the curry. Mmm. I could eat this all day. Next, I'm gonna be making shepherd's pie. It's a British classic. It's something that I was cooked growing up I'm going to make a vegan version using jackfruit. Often you can make it using vegan mints, but I want to show you that jackfruit is very versatile and it's perfect in something like this, especially when you prepare it in the way that I showed you for the curry. So we're going to do the same again. First up, I'm going to get my base ingredients chopped. I've got onion, celery, garlic, and carrots. So I'm going to chop those fine and get them sauteing off in the pan. Just preheat a large non-stick frying pan over a medium heat and add a touch of oil. Add a good pinch of salt and pepper and some fresh thyme and some fresh rosemary chopped finely. You just want to cook these onions and this base mixture for as long as you can without them burning. So you want to get some nice colour on them. The celery is the star ingredient here. That has got a lot of flavour hidden in there that's going to release itself into the shepherd's pie at the end. So shepherd's pie originated in Scotland. Only lamb or mutton was used and it was topped with pastry but then it moved to Ireland and they topped it with potatoes, which is what I'm doing today. So once I've got this mix going and cooking along, I'm then gonna get my potatoes cooking to make a mash. Prepare our jackfruit now. Same way as before, like the curry. So next to the pan, some really umami, powerful ingredients. I'm gonna add some tomato puree, some soy sauce, and I'm gonna rehydrate some shiitake mushrooms in some boiling water. You can find dried mushrooms at all good supermarkets. And that liquid that I'm gonna to use to rehydrate is gonna be added to the shepherd's pie as well. So now I'm gonna add the jackfruit. And once my mushrooms are rehydrated, we'll chop them up and add those as well. And then it's time for this extra special secret ingredient that I'm gonna tell you. So it's not secret, but secret in my recipe. 
So I just want to get a little bit of colour on this jackfruit. Let it caramelise. Let that tomato puree cook out and that's going to add great depth of flavour. And whilst that's cooking away, I'm going to peel up some Maris Piper potatoes, get them chopped up and get them cooking in a saucepan with some water covered over the top and we'll mash them when they're cooked. Give that a little stir for me, Tom. Well done. What does it need? It needs to be deglazed. Deglaze, that's the next step. So we're going to deglaze after with the red wine that I'm going to add the liquid from the dried mushrooms and my secret ingredient, which I'm going to tell you now. What is it, Marcus? I don't know. What's the secret ingredient? Joe, what is it? Marmite? No. Vegemite? No. To Pete? Ice cream. It is coffee. Oh. So to glaze the pan with the red wine, the liquor from the dried mushrooms and the coffee. And I'm just gonna chop up these rehydrated mushrooms and add them in too for their meaty flavor. Look at that, look at that, look at that! It's beautiful! So I'm just going to let this bubble away for about 15 to 20 minutes, let the liquids reduce down and they'll coat all the lovely ingredients inside there. It's going to be beautiful. It smells so powerful already. Joe, I need a hand. I can't be asked doing this. <laughs> so yeah, just put a few potatoes in at a time. Oh, you've done it before. Show them how it's done. So this ensures, they say that lumps are in the right places, don't they, Joe? Yeah. Strong believer of that, but this ensures there's no lumps in your mash. So this ricer, it's called a potato ricer, does exactly that, it removes any lumps. And you only want to mash your potato when it's hot. If you let it cool too much, it's going to get starchy and sticky. Well done. Round of applause for Joe. Thank you very much. So to the mash, I'm gonna add some vegan margarine, some seasoning, vegan cheese, grated, and some non-dairy milk. I'm using sprouted pea milk. So to build the shepherd's pie, simply get your lovely jackfruit mixture into your baking dish and top with loads of the mashed potato. So you just want to slop the um, potatoes on. I do it a bit better than slopping, but just get a few lumps on. I'm just going to use the back of the spoon to shimmy it around. But you want some nice rivets in it so that they get nice and crispy in the oven. My favorite part of a shepherd's pie. All right, should we get this beautiful mountain of goodness in the oven? Yes, we shall. About 25 to 35 minutes or until you see that the top of the mashed potato has gone nice and golden and crispy. Often I would get some vegan cheese really finely grated over the top, but I don't have any at the moment, but this will do fine. We've got that cheese running through it. Let's get it in the oven. It's time to get the shepherd's pie out of the oven and we are all excited, aren't we guys? Do you hear that? Yeah. yeah, buddy. Here we go. Oh, look at her, she's bubbling. That is like a mighty fine piece of food. A few little thyme leaves on top. So I got my spoon and I'm gonna dig in and get a nice big serving of this and have a taste. I recommend serving this with some kale, steamed. Where should I attack this? I don't know which side to go! Oh, oh look at that. Oh, look at that steam. Look inside there, look inside there. Beautiful. I really love food a lot. Ok, 
Okay, so let's give this a taste. I love the crispiness of the mashed potato together with this really amazing jackfruit mix. Mmm. The jackfruit is so rich. It's like it's been braised for like three hours. That's how rich it tastes. I think that's got a lot to do with the secret ingredient I added, the coffee. But also obviously the shiitakes, the celery, the red wine, everything. All those little elements that I've added result in a really meaty tasting, rich shepherd's pie. And the creamy mash on top is beautiful. Mmm, 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 mmm. So there you go. I hope you learned some new jackfruit recipes that aren't just the standard ones that you see all the time. Hope you learned how to prepare jackfruit from a can better. These dishes are perfect for the winter months that are coming up and I hope you enjoy them. Please get my book, Plants Only Kitchens, on my website now. Like, share and comment and hit the notification bell. See you soon with a new episode of Cooks with Gaz on Avant Garde Vegan channel.